answer is no. Buddy has enough on her plate right now. With her own play, not to mention dealing with the fuss that you've made over her. But I was, I was not just making polite noises, Kate. What I told her I meant. I told you, the angina we've got is no good. Buddy could walk right into the party. N-O. Kate, your daughter wants to be an actress. Six months ago, she wanted to be a race car driver. Please, I'm being serious. So am I. She still has to finish high school. And she has college ahead of her. College. Remember? If she's still interested, she can major in theater. And waste four valuable years like I did. Buddy isn't ready to make such an important decision about her future, and I must ask you not to mention the possibility of the part in your play. But, Kate, darling, it's not the lead. It's the perfect part to start out in. How many youngsters do you think get a chance like this? Very few, I'm sure. Nevertheless, just drop it, please. Well, you're the mum, so mum's the word. But I still... But nothing. You're like a terrier. You see those placemats and napkins? You take those out to the patio, please. Through the porch. We're going to have lunch, Angie. Great group your family did. You know, Duck's even better looking now than when you first met him. You know, the first time you came to take me out, I prayed you wouldn't come into the room. What? For heaven's sake, why? I was afraid he'd take one look at you. It'd be good by me. <laughs> oh, darling, not a chance. Doug had house and home written all over his face even then. But I didn't. I was going to be the piano virtuoso of the Western world. So you said. He saw all through that, to what you really were. Born wife and mother, darling. Clever Doug. <laughs> oh, stay put. Wonder wife will get the coffee. Uh, uh. <sighs> Hi. Hello, darling. I was just thinking about you. How was your rehearsal? Okay, I guess. Something worrying you? Well, I don't know how to do my makeup. And then there's my hair. How would you like a lesson? You mean it? Of course. I tell you what, if you're up to it, why don't you come back with me to my hotel room? I've got all my makeup stuff there. I'll teach you the tricks of the trade. We could go now. Okay, let me ask my mom. All right. Okay. Well, go on. What are you asking about wasting time for? <laughs> Mr. Julian Fisher, please. Julian. Hello, my darling. It's me. Now, no questions. Just come over to my hotel room in about an hour. I think I have the solution to all our problems. Uh -huh. A replacement for the lemon. The daughter of a friend. Lawrence. Oh, look, never mind about her first name. We'll find one that works. Bye. is coming to you direct from the Don Berger Dance Studio. In the background, you hear the happy sound of people learning to move their feet to the beat of the... Oh, wait a moment. The, uh... Oh, wait a moment. My cassette's jammed. Oh, I mean the band's out. Yeah. I don't know what I mean. Oh, nuts. Hi. How's business? Really? Why don't you try your pitch on me? Tell me why I should take disco lessons. You? You should. You have two left feet. Well, let's ignore my infirmities for the moment. Now, come on. You just phoned me. My cell. Hi. This call is coming to you direct from the Don Berger Dance Studios. I just hung up. Give me that. In your own words, tell me. Well... Mr. Lawrence, I'm sure you spend most of the day sitting down. 
This girl's good for the circulation. And it's good for the imagination. Oh, uh, so far so good. And it could change your life. Socially, I mean. You meet the perfect girl. She thinks you're great. But she loves to dance. So you have to sit on the sidelines of life, watching her boogie off into the future with someone else. Oh, that's it. I'm sold. You are? It's right here. Oh, oh no, 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 no. <laughs> you misunderstand. I meant I would be sold if it weren't for my two left feet. <laughs> you get back to work. Right, Julian? As usual, Angela, right? They'll be able to see her from the parking lot. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Fisher, for letting me take up so much of Angela's time. It was worth it. But we do have some scenes to go over, Angela. I know. Oh, well, I could just wash up and then went down the lobby. My mom should be here pretty soon. Absolutely not. No. No, in fact, you could do me a huge favor. If you could read the lines with Angela, I can sit back and listen. The one where Pamela falls down the stairs. What a fantastic idea. Oh, buddy, darling, please say yes. Then we can get rid of him and get back to your makeup. I couldn't. Darling, it's not a performance. Just say the words. Page, um, 78, I think? Now, um, I'm Louise. You're Pamela. You've just fallen downstairs in front of a fantastic young man. You're upset by it, and I'm no help. Let's go. What on earth were you doing? Nothing. I just fell. And that stupid Walter had to come in and pick me up as if I were a chandelier or something, holding me like that, as if I were a baby. He was only trying to help. Oh, Mother, for heaven's sakes. You don't understand anything. It's just so undignified. Shows no respect for you. I mean, if you're two years old, that's one thing. Well, that's not true. It's an invasion of privacy. Really, Pamela, I think you're overreacting. I guess so. You know, I think I'm the most impossible person I know. But then I suppose wonderful people always make you feel like that. Sort of ashamed all the time. Walter makes you feel ashamed? Not exactly ashamed, but... Well, like in those commercials for detergent, I always feel like the grubby shirt next to the dazzling white one. I mean, he's so fresh. Fresh and beautiful. Don't you think he's beautiful? I hadn't thought. I think that should do it. I'm sorry. You were going great. You could play the part, you know that? Me in a real play? You're very talented, buddy. You have a quality that's honest and definite. We need an ingenue. The part's yours if you want it. You think I could really do it? You heard the man. I try never to second guess a director. Well, you two talk. I'll check back with you later. <laughs> oh. Excuse me. Thank you. Hi. I'm a little early. I'm afraid the car's going to be towed away. Mom? Would you wash your face, buddy? We've got to go. I want to tell you something. Why don't you go and wash your face, buddy? The makeup looks wonderful. Thanks for helping her. I enjoyed doing it. Who was that? Uh, uh, Julian Fisher. Your director. You just dropped in, I suppose. Now, Kate, I know what you're thinking. I'm sure you do. But he read the part, didn't she? Yes. And she was good. Julian offered her the job. Then thank him for both of us. The answer is no. Mom, I want to do the play. Buddy. I want to do it. You have to say yes.
There's a rule around here. You don't leave without saying goodbye. And when did that rule go into effect? Just now. Goodbye. Wait, buddy. That's not good enough. I'm sorry, but I'm late. Tomorrow's the opening, and today's the last dress rehearsal. And Miss Kendall wants to stop after every act. Come in, please. I know you're upset, but I won't have this silent treatment that we've been getting since last night. I have no choice. You said I was forbidden to even think about taking that part in Angela's play. And since that's all I can think about, what's her to say? You had plenty of other things to think about before yesterday afternoon. I don't know how it became a matter of life or death overnight. You know all right, and so does Mom. But neither of you want to admit it. And you know something else? What? If I were old enough to leave here without you being able to haul me back, I'd be gone by now. Buddy! I could wring Angela's neck. Me first, please. After all, she is my friend. O'Donnell hurdles one tackler, still in trouble. Dodging, picks up a it's walker. It's open. Turner, I think. Reverses his field. Pick you can leave it over there, thank you very much. Certainly, Miss Brown. Tackled by Benno. Darling, I'm sorry. I thought you were room service. But I'm so glad it's you, Kate. I really am. I was going to come over to the house when I plucked up enough courage. What was it this time, Annie? Or do you draw the line at 11-year-olds? Come on, Kate. I was coming over to apologize. That would have been a first. I always meant to tell Doug about that mean streak of yours. <laughs> Doug knows all there is to know about me. I'm mean, but not sneaky. Sit down, Kate, please. There's still some hot coffee. I, I don't want this to go on this way. So far, so good. I know you're furious with me, and Kate, you have every right to be. I was dead wrong. I had absolutely no right to do what I did with Buddy, especially since you specifically asked me not to. Right on both counts. Kate, I really am sorry. Are you? Yes, I really am. But, darling, I couldn't help myself. She's, she's a natural. With work and training, nothing could stop her. I wish you could believe that. The truth is, I need her in the play. She'll be well looked after. I'll take care of her myself. Stop pitching, Angela. You're using the same tactics you always use when you spot something you want. Usually, it's a silver cigarette case or some object. Well, Buddy is not an object. She's my daughter. I want you to let up on her. Poor Buddy. Poor Buddy, nothing. She's a perfectly normal adolescent. And you want her to stay that way. In fact, if your deepest wish comes true, when she's your age, she'll be up to her neck in kitchen and kids. I think it's very small of you, Kay, to make Buddy pay for your losses. My losses? Wasn't it the Ravel piano concerto you were preparing as your audition piece, way back in those days when you would have killed to get into Juilliard? Yes, it was, but what is... Plenty. Let me ask you something. When was the last time you played that for anyone other than yourself, Kate? Come on, Angela. You know I decided against a serious career when I married Doug. And oddly enough, I am playing it now. It's to be the performance piece for my degree. Dandy. You know, when I woke up this morning, I said to myself, Angela, what a busybody you are. There was Kate being a responsible mother, and in I flew, trying to make Buddy an actress, force her into a career, drag her off into the world. But you know something, darling? It's got nothing whatsoever to do with being a good mother. It's all about jealousy. That's rotten. It certainly is. You're eaten alive with jealousy about me, Kate. And you always have been. Angela, for Pete's sake. It's not Buddy's fault that you're going to wind up teaching piano scales to a bunch of tone-deaf, talentless kids. But Buddy's the one who's paying for it. Paying for your failures. Take it out on me, Kate. But not on Buddy. Stop this! Just one more thing. 
If you don't let Buddy play the part, she'll never forgive you. So either way, you're going to lose out. Your Saturday nights will be feverish, Mrs. Gilby, the moment you put yourself into the hands of Booger Dance Studios. No more hanging around... What? What? I'm on the line. An emergency? Um, uh, wait around, Mrs. Gilby. I'll call you back in a few minutes. Buddy! What is it? I've been calling you for hours, and the line's been busy. I was hoping it was you on the phone, because I don't want to talk to you. Kate! Or my father. Buddy. Listen, I wasn't exactly on top of things when I left there, and I think I forgot my makeup box. Now, if you could just go into my room, the phone reaches. <clears throat> Where should I look? It's on my bed, I think. Well, there's a cigar box. That's it. That's your makeup kit? Very tacky, buddy. I mean, what kind of professional? No kind of professional ever. Mom and Dad took care of that, remember? Oh, I'm sorry. I'll take it over to the school. Thanks. I just wanted to tell you that Buddy's home. I thought you'd like to know. Thank you. take the part in Angela's play. You have my permission. I said you have my permission to accept Angela's offer. to do it without talking to me first. I said that three times, Doug, and I've told you three times. I'm sorry, but I did. Why? Why did you agree to something you know is wrong? I don't think it's wrong anymore. I've thought about it. The play is going to run in Los Angeles for a couple of months. Buddy will still be living at home. She spent every night at the theater. And the best part of all, after two months, they go on tour. Philadelphia, Boston, and New York. Doug, please. Angela said she'd take care of her. It's a rare chance, Doug. And she'll be tutored, so she'll be able to keep up with her education. And Angela said... Angela said. I think she said something you're not telling me. She must have, or you wouldn't give up Buddy. I'm not giving up Buddy. The same way she's gotten anything she wanted from you, always. How'd she manage it this time? Kate? How? By telling the truth, that's how. By telling me why I was so against Buddy having this chance. That I'm ridden with jealousy about her success and my lack of it. And you fell for that? Oh, Doug. Every time I've seen her in the theater, I have felt how much I wish I'd achieved more in music. Of course you have. Everybody wants to be a star. But five minutes after you leave the theater, that feeling is gone. I thought it was. I think I've been lying to myself. Kate, over the years I have watched Angela Brown working at making you feel ordinary, making you feel second rate. That's not true. 
Whatever feelings of jealousy you have about Angela's life, she has the same feelings about yours. Well, that's just silly. No, that's the truth. That's why she went after Buddy. Deliberately, maliciously. She wanted part of your life for herself. She really believes in Buddy. Of course she does. But she doesn't care about her. I think she does. Why didn't she wait till Buddy was ready? The part is there, now. Well, there'll never be another part. Kate, you made a terrible mistake. I'm gonna have to settle this with Buddy. Not today. Her play opens tonight. Or not today. But no matter what Angela or Buddy thinks, I say she is not going. Hi. Hi, how come you're home? Miss Kendall said to take the rest of the day off and relax until showtime. Ha ha. You look great. Well, that's what I keep telling myself. But I feel jumpy inside. Isn't this Barbara's bike? Yeah. You earned the money? That's great. If anybody deserves a three-speed, it's you. Drive carefully. Thanks. You'll be terrific. Oh, and buddy, I love you. I love you, too. Mom? Oh. I, I didn't think you'd you'd be here before the play. Miss Kendall said to beat it until 6 30. Well, you should have a nap. I'll wake you when it's time. What were you doing in here? I just wanted to put some clean towels in your bathroom. You did that yesterday. What's wrong, Mom? It's the right decision. I know it is. Forgive me, buddy, but I don't think so now. That's great. Knowing my own mom doesn't think I'm good enough. I'm sure you're good enough. I'm sure if the theater is what you want, you're going to get there. Then what's the problem? I think you need more Buddy Lawrence time. You're just starting everything. I think you need time to find out about yourself, by yourself, privately. Because I know you. You have time to learn about the theater. You have time to test yourself. Go on trial flights. Before committing yourself to what may be a more arduous, demanding life than you imagine. I don't think you're ready for this. Angela doesn't seem to think that way. Angela's wanted to be an actress since she was born. I just worry that there are choices you're not considering. Choices that you'll cancel out forever. Because you make this one too quickly. It's what I want to do. I know. That's enough. Get some rest. It's going to be a big night. what you're going to come up with when I graduate from high school? By well, the way it looks now, you won't even be here. I always talk about that when the time comes. You don't have much time. i better go. Be your very best. 
and have a wonderful evening. There's something I want to say to you. I'd like to find my seat, if you don't mind. There's nothing quite so rude as people rushing in once the curtain's gone up. Yes, it is rude. But stumbling over people in the theatre really isn't in there with the walking all over them in real life, is it? Bye-bye, kid. I realize that for many years, our friendship has been based on your behaving outrageously and my standing still for it, even being charmed by it. It's all been going on so long. I don't know when it started, but it has to change. You really did me in yesterday, kiddo. It's taken me 24 hours and a lot of arguing with myself and with Doug to realize that you did it deliberately, that it was just another scene. I wasn't playing a scene, Kate. I was simply... It was a scene. We just didn't get to my lines. So here they are. I do envy you your success. But I don't begrudge you. So I'm one up on you. Because you envy and begrudge me what's mine. Nonsense. And what do you do about that? You try and take part of it with you. And what better part to take than Buddy? Someone with talent. She can go up on the stage with you. You'll have someone who'll look up to you. Someone to share your life with. And then someday she'll go up on the stage without you and be you, young again. All right, that's enough. I didn't think you had it in you to head as low as I did. The world's full of surprises. Yes, it is, isn't it? Well, darling, right on your side and all that. But since Buddy will be with me, it seems all my problems will be solved. I could do without my war horse. I could drag about in a skirt. I could let the trumpets and the banners and the soldiers and the knights pass me and leave me behind as they left the other women. If only I could hear the wind in the trees, the larks in the sunshine the young lambs crying through the healthy frost, and the blessed, blessed church bells that send me my angel voices floating on the wind. But I cannot live without these things, and by your wanting to take them away from me, or from any human creature, I know that your counsel is of the devil, and mine is of God. <laughs> Really Listen, stars, it's uh, getting a little crowded in here. Suppose I get the car. Thanks, Willie. And I'll go with you. I just want to tell you I want to be president of your fan club. <laughs> I better go, too. You got to get dressed for your party. Mom, don't go. Buddy, you were very, very good. Thank you. That's nice to hear. I'm glad you could make it. I'd have been the first one back, but if you can believe it, I was absolutely mobbed in the auditorium. Whoever would have thought that I'd have fans in Pasadena? There was one woman who said to me, uh, I think um, it was brother... I want to say something to my mom. <laughs> and I want you to hear it, too. There's no way in the world I could ever repay you for what you've offered me. I'm very flattered, and I think it's wonderful. I want to do that play. I want to do that play more than anything in the world. But I can't. I can't do your play. Buddy. I feel it would be a mistake. A mistake your mother pointed out to you? This is news to me too, Angela. See, I suddenly realized what I'd be missing out on. And how much I have to learn. Oh, buddy, darling, I teach you everything. No, not about acting. About being a person. Not that you aren't a person. It's just that I need to be around a person whose specialty is kids. And lucky me, I happen to have a mother who's very good at kids. 
and I'm sorry to disappoint you. But you do understand, don't you? Yes. I'm afraid so, buddy. I'll call you, Kate, next time I'm in town. I'll be here. All over your coat. Oh. Are you sure about this? Yes, I'm sure. Then to hell with the coat. Who cares about the old coat? She didn't open this last night, so I thought I'd get it and return it. I haven't even said I don't like it yet. Well, the truth is, it isn't very appropriate anymore. I'll be the judge of that. Give me it. I'm sorry I didn't open it last night. I guess, you know, I just forgot. No confusion. A jewelry box, oh, that's great. Well, not exactly jewelry. Oh, it's great. But you don't need it anymore. Oh, well, you're crazy. You know they're doing Romeo and Juliet next year at school. How do you think I'll look up on a balcony? <laughs> a three-speed cigar box for my sister, the star. Love, Annie. Barbara Collins' bike? Don't worry, I sold Tammy Sheldon. Got a small profit. Mm -hmm. 